Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Welcome to part three in this six part series about essential nutrients. In this video, I'll share what are carbs, why carbs are essential, good carbs and bad carbs, how many carbs do you need, fiber, vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals, and carbs, food allergies, and anti-nutrients. First, what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are sugar, starch, fiber, and sugar alcohols. Natural carbohydrates include sugar, starch, and fiber. Sugar alcohols are sugar substitutes made from glucose and other carbs. Plant foods are the main source of natural carbohydrates. Organ meats, like liver, provide a small amount of carbohydrates in the form of glycogen. Carbs come from fruit, vegetables, grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. In addition to sugar, starch, and fiber, carbs provide minerals, vitamins, and plant chemicals known as phytochemicals. Carbs have become one of the most controversial essential nutrients. While most diets recommend limiting highly processed foods made with refined white flour and sugar carbs, some low-carb diets claim most carbs are toxic to humans. At least to overweight or obese Americans with one or more chronic medical conditions. The same toxic carbs are eaten by millions of other people around the world living long, healthy lives. Carbs have many documented health benefits. Sugar and starch are the body's main source of energy. Fiber helps regulate digestion and reduce blood cholesterol. Carbs are a low-calorie source of essential vitamins and minerals, and many plant chemicals are anti-cancer, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory. If carbohydrates are essential and have so many health benefits, why are millions of people eating low-carb diets? Low-carb diets, like most fad diets, are not marketed to active people maintaining a healthy weight. They're marketed to overweight or obese individuals with one or more serious chronic diseases. Low-carb diets claim carbs, not heredity, diet, or medications, cause weight gain and chronic diseases. In most cases, the problem is not carbs from minimally processed foods. The problem is a diet of high-calorie, highly processed, refined carbs. For example, this four and a quarter ounce so-called apple pie has 440 calories, 40 calories more than this 16 ounce grilled shrimp meal. This meal provides almost four times more food for 10% less calories. How many people do you know have shrimp and rice belly? The shrimp meal is low calorie and high in essential nutrients, while the pie is a nutrient deficient snack food. Fat food, I mean fast food restaurants, spend millions of dollars promoting their high-calorie, no-nutrition foods. Deluxe is a meaningless marketing term. And natural fish does not come breaded and fried. For just a few dollars, you get 1,200 to 1,700 calories. The average person needs 1,800 to 2,400 calories a day to maintain a healthy weight. Most of the calories comes from fat, starch, and refined flour and sugar. On the other hand, gaining weight and developing type 2 diabetes and other chronic diseases is more difficult with this 300 calorie fish meal. Here's a quiz. Which 300 calorie meal has less carbohydrates and more protein?
The meal on the right has 8 grams of carbs and 29 grams of protein. For this quiz, which has less calories, less carbohydrates, and more protein? For 500 calories, you get 50 grams of carbs and 31 grams of protein. Your diet comes down to choices. Prepared fat foods or not so convenient, lower calorie, home cooked foods. The big question is, how much carbs do you need? It depends on your health, your family history, and the type of carbs. If your health profile looks like this, you have serious health problems. Ideally, your health profile should look like this. This means you're providing your body with the nutrients it needs. Most of these conditions are diet related and preventable. Your body doesn't need high calorie refined carbs. The best carbohydrates come from natural, minimally processed plant foods. A person who is pre-diabetic must limit total carbs. An easy way to limit total carbs is by reducing or eliminating refined carb foods. Four ounces of raw potato has about 20 grams of total carbs. Is that high or low? It depends on your diet. The 20 grams of potato carbs is mostly starch. The potato's carbs are healthier than 42 grams of mostly refined sugar. Most U.S. dietary guidelines recommend 50 to 70 percent of total calories come from carbohydrates. The key word here is recommend. It's not a requirement. 50 to 70 percent of total calories ranges from 800 to over 2,000 calories depending on your diet. Most people are more familiar with grams per day rather than calories per day. U.S. guidelines recommends between 200 to over 500 grams per day. Some low-carb diets limit daily carbs to 50 grams or less. So who's right? High carb or low carb? Low-carb diets like keto claim you'll burn tons of body fat by limiting sugar and starch. You won't lose weight if you replace 1,000 carb calories with 1,000 fat calories. You lose weight by reducing total calories. There's a wealth of misinformation about carbs. Several viewers have commented without providing any proof that diabetics can't eat sweet fruit. Research indicates diets high in fresh fruit benefits diabetics and non-diabetics. Research confirms diabetes is not caused by diets high in fresh fruit. Type 2 diabetes is usually caused by diets high in quickly absorbed refined grains and sugar. Refined white flour and sugar have been around for thousands of years, but until the mid-20th century, most people ate minimally processed carbs and most meals were home-cooked. Today, refined sugar and flour are the main ingredients for hundreds of foods. You'd have to eat about a pound of kale to get about the same amount of carbs from two and a half ounces of snack cakes. The kale provides nine grams of fiber, zero added sugar, and has 15 grams of protein. The kale also provides about a day's worth of calcium, about 50% of the RDA for potassium, and a day's worth of vitamin A. When you compare essential nutrients versus calories, the cake would be bad carbs versus the kale's good carbs. Does that mean you must stop eating all refined flour and sugar foods? Not necessarily. It means you must be mindful of your health and your diet. 
a daily 300 calorie morning donut doesn't condemn you to obesity and diabetes. While it's not health food, it provides 300 calories of a 700 calorie breakfast. Being overweight can contribute to developing serious chronic diseases. According to the 2020 Dietary Guidelines, about 90% of type 2 diabetics are overweight. Many live sedentary lifestyles. Uncontrolled type 2 diabetes is a leading cause of blindness, toe, foot, and lower leg amputations. About 70% of people diagnosed with chronic kidney disease have a history of type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure. U.S. guidelines recommend a person needing 2,000 calories a day obtain 250 to 350 grams from carbohydrates. While this brownie and ice cream has significantly less carbs, you'd have to eat 11 apples to obtain the same number of calories, or almost 3 pounds of white potatoes. Refined white rice is condemned as a bad carb, but at half the calories and with zero added sugar, the shrimp meal is a better source of essential nutrients. Fruits, vegetables, and even potatoes provide 100 or less calories per 4-ounce serving. High-calorie carbs include grains, avocados, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Plant foods are the only natural source of essential dietary fiber. Chronic constipation may indicate you're eating a low-fiber diet. High-protein and fat diets are low-fiber diets. In the U.S., over 90% of adult men and women do not get enough fiber. The 2020 U.S. Dietary Guidelines recommends 14 grams of fiber for every 1,000 calories. That means you should get between 25 to 35 grams a day. High fiber plant foods can easily supply 25 to 35 grams of fiber a day. One cup of this lentil soup has 14 grams of fiber. Some high fiber foods include legumes, broccoli, berries, avocados, whole grains, fruit, and nuts. Plant foods are also low-calorie sources of essential vitamins and minerals. A 4-ounce serving of red bell pepper provides 200% of the adult RDA for vitamin C. Red meat, poultry, fish, fats, and oils provide 0 to 5 milligrams of vitamin C. Some plant foods are also high in B vitamins. A diet of animal and plant foods easily provide all essential B vitamins. There are exceptions. Vitamin B12 is more abundant in animal foods. Vegetarian and vegan diets may require a B12 supplement. Plant foods are also a low-calorie source of essential minerals like potassium and magnesium. Not all plant foods are low-calorie. Nuts, seeds, and avocados should be eaten in moderation. I've published videos for these vitamins and minerals and am working on videos for vitamins B1 through B9. In addition to macronutrients, plant foods provide thousands of micronutrients like the carotenoids and polyphenols. These plant chemicals are anti-cancer, antioxidant, antiviral and antibiotic, anti-inflammatory, regulate hormones, support the immune system, reduce blood pressure, and LDL cholesterol. I know some of you are thinking, what about dangerous plant toxins like lectin and oxalate? Lectin can be a problem for people eating raw foods. 
calcium oxalate kidney stones affects about 8% of the adult U.S. population. Kidney stone formation is more complex than just eating a diet of high oxalate plant foods. But that's a topic for a future video. Some plant foods, just like animal foods, can cause allergic reactions. Common plant food allergies include soy, wheat, peanuts, and tree nuts. Food allergy symptoms can be mild like a rash or life-threatening. People with food allergies must avoid foods that trigger an allergic reaction. There is no one-size-fits-most diet. Your diet comes down to choices. You must decide what level and type of carbohydrates are healthy for you. Be mindful of your health. You know your body better than anyone. Some takeaways from this video are that carbohydrates come from plant foods. Carbs are sugar, starch, and fiber. Some diets are high in refined sugar and flour carbs. Refined carbs provide little or no fiber. Plant foods are a low-calorie source of essential vitamins and minerals. And plants are the only source of healthy phytochemicals. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.